oppressive regimes cannot endure forever. And the day will come when the people will face a choice. Will they continue down the path of poverty, bloodshed, and terror? Or will the Iranian people return to the nation's proud roots as a center of civilization, culture, and wealth, where their people can be happy and prosperous once again? Gee, Mr. Trump, I wonder if people of America could say the same about you. This is basically just a thing that I noticed when I was scrolling through uh, Maoist Rebel News. And by the way, I am currently in the process of literally packing up a whole bunch of crap. So, yeah. So, basically, he's irritated by the fact... Donald Trump is irritated by the fact that Iran is a dictatorship when Rouhani has basically gone back on his whole promise of any sort of reform and if anything has privatized and corporatized so much in Iran like to the fact that like worse than Iran has ever been Iran has always been a very conservative nation, a very conservative Islamic nation. And there's even people, he's been very favorable to, you know, the upper class, even particularly the upper and middle class, particularly those that seem to favor the United States. So I don't really understand what Mr. Trump is, you know, getting so irritated about. Is it the fact that, you know, the United States has been historically opposed to the Islamic Revolution, because I think most of us are both, you know, Marxists and, you know, the whole fact, and Marxists and conservatives. However, the difference between the two is maybe the fact is that he, maybe he's actually opposed to the fact that Iran doesn't cater to U.S. imperialism as much. And maybe it's the fact that they're not doing as much work to help U.S. imperialism as Donald Trump and other American conservatives would like. So maybe that's what pisses him off a lot. I'm not really sure, but it's kind of, but this whole thing really irritated me, so I had to do a quick video about this. Because seriously, you're pissed off because you're calling this man a dictatorship, this man's regime... You're calling Iran a dictatorship because they have state-controlled media, they are privatizing things to the point where everything is literally under the control of a corporation or the state, and that they're favoring pretty much the middle and upper class, and that the gap between rich and the poor is so fucking wide that, you know, it's practically nauseating. Last time I checked, the FCC had struck down net neutrality in the United States. Uh, Donald Trump is favoring the rich over the poor greatly, to the point everything is being privatized and corporatized, as he promised in his election campaign. And, essentially, everything is pretty much tightly controlled through autocratic sort of rule and growing stronger through that aspect. Mr. Trump, you claim to be to you claim that Iran Iran is a dictatorship and that Rouhani is an oppressive dictator. Is it so much that Rouhani is a dictator or is it maybe the fact that you yourself need to look in a fucking mirror? Because the man you're claiming to be a dictator was only elected in 2011. He was elected by the populace, by the popular vote. Maybe that just kind of irritates you because you yourself were elected by an oligarchy. You know, the electoral college, the whole bullshit apparatus that basically is a bunch of rich, you know, politicians controlling the aspect of everyone's lives. 
So maybe that's what confuses you. Maybe that's what you call a dictatorship because to you being elected by this, you know, th this group of elite people is democracy and being elected by the population, the actual population is, you know, a dictatorship. But I would expect nothing more from a man that bitched about, you know, losing the popular vote by three million. So, yeah, it's really kind of interesting how Mr. Trump is so irritated by this. But then again, it's Mr. Trump. I'm the Red Pagan, leader of the revolutionist movement, and this has been Red Pagan Corner. Peace. <laughs> Sell it so, that's the sun,